Hey everybody, this is uh, Brian again, doing a little bit of a re review on some of the things that I have here on my Jeep. It's a 2016 Jeep Rubicon Unlimited. Um, what we're going to talk about today is the front bumper from Tough Stuff and the winch that I purchased from Tough Stuff as well. Um, first and foremost, I thought it was kind of cool to get these little circle LEDs and throw them on that bumper. There's a nice little spot there on the winch plate. Um, bolted them in, they, they work great. So <laughs> I don't know if you're going to buy this bumper. If you do, um, that's a nice way to do it. Just a different idea, you know. Um, as far as the bumper goes, it was mm, a little bit difficult to install. I mean, a lot of parts, not any instructions. Um, as you can see, it came all damaged. You're going to see a lot of these scratches and a bunch of issues. And, and basically, when I, when I contacted them, to get a replacement or you know it was it was pretty bad I mean a lot of the stuff was dented some of the stuff had some very deep scratches because what would happen is during the shipment they they come loose from the packaging and some of the parts would rub against other parts and this is all real heavy metal stuff and they're getting thrown around um, obviously probably not packaged the best so it came with a lot of scratches they basically told me to go up to AutoZone and uh, you can buy some truck bed liner they said that you can go ahead and repaint these and I thought that was kind of shitty, but whatever dude, you know, it's it's a Jeep. It's not going to look perfect. So basically there's an extension that comes out of here that you can install. Uh, I don't like it, so I left that off. Um, they also have, if you don't have a winch, they have a plate that goes over the top. So as far as the design, I think it's pretty cool. You know, I think it's cool that you can extend it out the sides. I think the, it's cool that you can put a plate up on top. You can take off the bully bar if you want to. Um, definitely has a lot of flexibility. So that I do like about this bumper. As far as what I don't like, this is extremely hollow. So you're not going to really do anything with it. Not going to touch it on anything. Not going to tow with it. Not that you'd want to. But, you know, uh, just warning you, it's, it's very, very thin metal and, and probably not going to be of much use at all but for aesthetics. Um, when it comes to the winch, the winch was good. You know, it works really well. The free spool's nice. Uh, I really can't complain about the winch. The only thing that I'd say is kind of chintzy is, is these back here. So when you're tightening them, you have to use two wrenches, obviously. Uh, if you slip it all, at all, you're, you're going to break whatever's in there. I don't know. It may just be holding it, but you can see this one spins because I slipped on one and that one's good and that one's good. Um, but what I think is cool about this winch, obviously it's all faded now. It's been about three months. This is about three months of use. Um, but what you're going to see is there's a key here that actually turns it on and off. You put it in, turn it, and the winch now has power. Flip it back, it doesn't. So that's kind of cool. I like that. Um, and then the controller plugs in over here. Nice long cable for the controller. And like I said, the free spool works very well. Uh, this is the 12... 0.5 thousand pound model and I do think it does a pretty good job I, I didn't have any trouble with it I used it quite a bit out on the trail um, yeah I, I would recommend it like I said just be careful with those uh, wires back there you know, they, they can get a little bit squirrely uh, the other thing that's kind of weird is I didn't it's not like I sanded these bolts down or anything like that but like I said I live in San Diego we get very, very little rain. I mean, it rained maybe twice in the last three months, something like that. Maybe five times in the last four or five months, something like that. I don't know. Anyways, I don't live close to the water. I'm out in Lakeside, California, which is uh, about 30 minutes east of the water. So I don't know if that's close enough to be an issue. But I thought it was kind of shitty that these bolts just started rusting like instantly, instantly. So. I don't know if you can do something about that, maybe paint them yourself. It's probably a good idea to do so. Uh, but this bumper also comes with an, an amber light that is in there. Um, I didn't even put it in because it came destroyed and broken off. Uh, I didn't replace it. They sent me another one and, and I didn't replace it. Partially because it was going to be a lot of work and, and also because when I tested it with a 12 volt battery, um, you know, a car battery, pretty much a nightlight I mean it was pathetic not even it, in, in all the uh, marketing material they make it look like it's all good and it's gonna get you through and see through the dust and stuff like that but I'll tell you what you can't 
<laughs> you can't even light up like a, a bathroom with it, you know what I mean? Like a small little bathroom. It doesn't even light that room up. It's it's pathetic. So I don't know what they were trying to do there, but maybe maybe it would look cool at night if it's glowing. You know, maybe that's what they're trying to do. Haven't tried it. Probably should. I would think that'd be kind of cool looking, but I don't know. So that's my experience with this bumper. Uh, all in all, if you can get it and it's shipped nice and, and not all destroyed when you get it, I think it's a great bumper. If you have to deal with their customer support, I don't think they really own up to anything. I've had a few experiences with them so far, and I'm not real picky. Like I said, it's a Jeep. I don't really care. I bought it to destroy it, essentially. Um, but if you deal with their customer support, I don't really feel like they own up to anything that they do wrong. Whether it's a design flaw or shipping's poor, they kind of just tell you, eh, well, go ahead and, and paint it yourself. You know, we're not going to replace it. You can either return it and pay for shipping, or you can go ahead and try and paint it yourself. You know, it's, it's just messed up. But either way, great winch, great bumper. Um, glad I didn't have any other issues with it. I would recommend them both.